Hi there. Um, if you're catching this on the replay, I want to thank you for joining me. Um, and uh, please, by all means, give me some comments and some questions. Um, it's great to have you. Uh, the amount of feedback I've been getting um, lately has been terrific. So thank you so much for, for your participation um, and your shares and your likes and all that stuff is really, really great. Um, so I am Robert Gregor. I'm a registered clinical counselor here in Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, and I thought that I'd spend just a couple of minutes right now um, just talking about grief. Um, I've heard a couple of questions um, lately um, or some, some points of view from people that um, about the idea that uh, it's not okay to grieve for a pet uh, that's passed away and that it's somehow different from a, a human. Um, and so recently uh, my partner and I, we just lost our, uh, our little Merlin, um, our little cat. And um, it's been really, really hard. And uh, it sort of spurred this idea that, uh, you know, um, our pets are, they're our fur babies, right? They're our actual, um, almost like our children. And uh, it is absolutely a huge loss to lose a pet. Um, and so today's uh, talk is going to be about just that, that it's, it is absolutely okay to grieve for a lost pet. Um, and uh, I'm going I'm to talk about briefly the five stages of grief, um, classically um, uh, presented by Elizabeth Kubler-Ross in 1969. Um, and um, from there, I'm, you know, I'm just going to open up for some questions uh, that you can give me um, afterwards in between, um, you know, talks. So, uh, what are exactly are those um, five stages of, of grief? And so what they are um, is the first one is denial. You know, generally speaking, when we, when we lose a pet or we lose a loved one, or um, even if we lost something that's not, you know, animal or human related, like a job offer or a relationship, um, then we can still grieve for those things. So denial would be something um, like not really not believing that it's happened, you know, sort of uh, imagining that uh, our little... Merlin's just coming through, um, you know, the door waking us up like we're so used to him doing, um, and then, you know, having to realize that he's no longer here with us. So, uh, sometimes individuals can even see their pet, um, you know, briefly, almost like in the corner of their eye, they were seeing um, our little Merlin. Um, the, the second stage of grieving is um, anger. So there's a part of us that gets, you know, uh, really angry about their loss or can maybe blame them for having left us too early or um, it being suddenly, as what happened with, with, with our cat. Um, the, the next stage is bargaining, and that's something like, um, you know, if I had only, um, you know, done something sooner, if I've only... Um, uh, took him into the vet, um, or if I had only known that he was sick or something like that. Um, and, 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 you know, this is the case with humans as well as animals, that um, uh, that can take many different forms. Sometimes individuals can, can think about um, this bargaining stage as, you know, um, begging to, to God or to, a, to another deity of your choosing. Um, and say, if you bring them back, I will absolutely be a better person or something like that. And uh, unfortunately, of course, as we know, that, that doesn't quite work. Um, the next stage of grief is um, depression. <laughs> I was like, what is that again? Yeah, it's depression. Um, and that's sort of, you know, what it almost doesn't, uh, um, doesn't really need a whole lot of explanation. I mean, that's just sort of like a lack of energy and a sort of feeling of dullness or, or um, you know, lots of crying, lack of sleep, lack of appetite. Um, you know, this is sort of a, a way of our body's response to this loss. You know, there's a, for, for me, there's a, there's a big hole um, that Merlin left when he, when he left us, that, that there's just this sort of an emptiness feeling there. And so, um, so that's, that's really quite the case. And if it's important if it goes a bit longer than, 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 you know, a few weeks or a few months or something like that. I'm mean, really, really impressed. Or, um, oh, hi there. Thanks. You know, if it lasts for quite a while, then, then it, it's important that you get some, some help, talk to somebody about it. Um, 
Uh, and the final stage, of course, of grief is acceptance, is actually acknowledging that this person or this pet that you've lost is, is gone. Um, and uh, that can be in so many different ways of whatever it is exactly. Oh, just almost lost me right there for a second. Okay, there we go. Um, whatever really, you know, that uh, however you make meaning out of this loss, out of this, um, uh, this new place of where you're at with your pet, um, is about accepting. Um, and you know what's really important about grief is that even though I'm talking about them in a stage, you know, there's one, two, three, four, five of these stages, um, it doesn't always work in that sort of linear trajectory. Um, our grief can go from denial to acceptance to anger to depression to acceptance to bargaining to denial to anger. Um, you know, you name it, it can happen. Uh, it's really quite, it's a process. It's sort of like, you know, getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into your understanding of, what, of what's happened um, in your acceptance. And, you know, the final thing that I want to say about grief um, is that there is no right or wrong way to grieve. Um, and if anybody tells you what's okay and what's not okay, um, please don't take that uh, to heart. It is absolutely a personal and subjective um, process. And, um, you know, please do know that if you're grieving for a lost pet, that um, that's okay and you're allowed to do that. And however it is that you, that you do that. So please feel that you're free, um, and I think it's really an important idea to talk to somebody about it too, because there's something about speaking to another human being um, about that loss. Um, so I encourage you to, you know, live life well, um, you know, also ex accept that death is part of life, and that, you know, we, um, so it's, it's hard, of course, but uh, hopefully this was um, interesting to some degree and um, you know I think it's really important that all of us out there accept that grieving for a pet is uh, much the same as grieving for a human so can you grieve for your pet yes you can of course okay bye for now and if you have any questions please do go ahead and send them to me um, if you want to chat at all I'm here um, please like my Facebook page, send it off to uh, some friends of yours if you think anybody would be interested. I really do like um, audience participation and uh, share with me. I'm here for you as well. So until next time, cheers.